uh, every two years you have to recertify. Uh, what are some of the industry trends that you're kind of seeing right now with certifications um, based on, and you kind of hit it a little bit, but sticking with, you know, your pathway of what you're good at uh, as far as certification. So um, as a teacher, you know, we have to get so many hours of professional development mm -hmm. and there's every two or three years, there's different trends that you'll see in the educational world. Um, other than, I guess, transitioning to online or hybrid, what are some of the other trends you kind of see as a, a personal in-personal training currently? Yeah, so one of the trends that I, I really, really love is looking at health beyond weight. Uh, health can present in a lot of ways and it depends on the human being. And, you know, not focusing on, you know, having to be a certain size, um, I think yep. is just incredible. I'm seeing more certifications around how to talk about uh, sleep hygiene, for example, and stress management um, and more kind of just a holistic directions, which I really appreciate. I, I think we can all agree that focusing on scale weight is damaging. Uh, and so moving away from that has been really wonderful. And then also focusing in on different groups of people who experience things differently and kind of treating them with the, with the respect and differences that they have, uh, which has also been wonderful to, to watch happen. Yeah, I like that. And, you know, as, as you talk about the weight being a thing, um, I remember uh, it was probably 10 years ago, I ran a marathon and then the week afterwards, we had our, our wellness check-in at, at our, the district I was working in at the time. And the wellness people for health insurance came in and, you know, take your height and weight and talk to you about mm -hmm. your being you are. <laughs> yeah. And, um, sir, you're borderline obese. You know, you have, I'm six to 210 pounds. Um, and I'd say, oh, okay, well, can you tell me about that? As a health and PE teacher, I know <laughs> what you can talk about. Um, so he gives his little spiel and I say, oh, okay, well, I ran a marathon last week. Uh, I did it just under four hours. And he goes, oh, so you probably know about some of this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what kind of things are kind of changing now to get away from BMI and how, how are trainers kind of helping people beyond just the scale? So one of the biggest things, and this is why I love my job, is I, I get to, to work with thousands of coaches and I can tell you every single one of them look different. Yeah. And when we are authentic and that's kind of a really big push is not hiding behind, you know, filters and like, or special angles or whatever, like just presenting as who you are in whatever stage of your journey that you're in. And so we have, you know, coaches from all different backgrounds and different body styles and, and different uh, sports that they play. And it's just, I think doing that has made such a big difference in like mental health and less shame around people seeking help from, from coaches. I mean, I wouldn't want to work with a coach. I mean, no offense, but like if I was working with a, a woman who was, you know, bikini comp competitor body, she's amazing. But it for what my goals are, it would intimidate the crap out of me, yeah. <laughs> you know, where I might feel a little more comfortable with someone, you know, who is strong and might have a little extra fluff because, you know, she likes to eat too, <laughs> you know, and that's great, um, you know, because that's, that's where I roll, right? I don't want to, you know, give up my carbs or anything else, you know, I just want to be really strong. Um, and so that's my person. And so when we have that representation it just, it's just made such a big difference in, in our community, um, as well as, you know, making people feel more comfortable and working with coaches. 